Hey there guys, thank you for joining me for another Star Wars Squadrons Loadout video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Y-Wing, the slow and steady damage dealing New Republic bomber. Now, like I said, the Y-Wing, it's not very fast and it's not very nimble, but you can dish out an amazing amount of damage. And this loadout I've put together here will hopefully do that for you. I mean, it does it for me, but I mean, hope you agree. If not, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. So let's dive straight in on it. For the primary weapon, we've got the Rotary Cannon. Now, this does not lock on and it does have a wind up time, but anything that gets in your crosshairs will get absolutely pebble dashed you can do a massive amount of damage to this to both uh well to both the, the standard starships the flagships and also the capital ship you can take massive chunks of damage off with this uh cannon trust me when i say you want to go all in on the rotary cannon on the left auxiliary we've got the proton bombs now of course the proton bombs do not lock onto anything and they drop directly below the y-wing in space for some reason <laughs> but i'm not going to go through the logic of star wars i love me some star wars but all you do is you fly over things and just tap the left auxiliary button is r1 for me on playstation that's probably lb for you on xbox and some key designation on PC and you just drop them one by one you can carry five and then obviously once that's done you've got to go resupply or if you've got someone in a U-wing on your team they can resupply you out in the field. On the right auxiliary we've got the assault shield this is useful for when you are going in on flagships and on the capital ship it will absorb more damage from the standard turrets or from other people as long as they are in front of you it's a full frontal shield but of course the y-wing has a pretty meaty shield as it is for the countermeasures the particle burst because i like to stay stationary whilst taking out the capital ship if you just get there park up and aim it in front of you and just obliterate it and then fly over the top and drop them proton bombs you don't want anybody locking onto you with any kind of missile, so you just pop that cloud and sit in that particle cloud. For the hull, I've gone for the reinforced hull. This will give you obviously massive amounts of health, so you can again, once your shields are depleted, you can take a lot of damage. And obviously that caters onto the shields. I've gone for the conversion shield for that means that once your shields have been depleted another shield will spring back up to give you sort of like an emergency shield for you to get your ass out of dodge this is a very cool shield add-on and i highly recommend it and then finally for the engine i've gone for the unstable engine because like i said when i'm up close and personal with a flagship or a capital ship if i get taken down i'm taking some health with me baby i'm not going down without a fight and that's what the unstable engine does you will explode and deal extra extra damage with your explosion but anyway guys thank you very much for watching that is my y-wing loadout video please let me know if you agree or disagree down in the comments drop a like if you feel up to it it all helps out and i i mean i'm just grateful for your time for watching but thank you very much for watching and i shall catch you guys on the next one may the force be with you all